we are uh, extremely happy to have won the ball game. We were pretty sloppy, but we think that we uh, will have to really learn a lot from this. They gave us a lot of multiple looks on defense, and we struggled some. I think that we did some things uh, defensively as well that we can uh, really get better. But anytime you're in the playoffs, you just want to be one of the six teams. So now our goal is to be one of the eight. And uh, we're extremely proud of the, 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 the accomplishment of this team. Keith, you're one of the biggest offensive weapons for your team today. Is that, is that a flashback to your high school days? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> So what, what was it today? Did you just say, okay, you know, it's playoffs, it's time to step it up? I uh, just really felt confident about the game plan that, that our coaches had, you know, pre prepared us for. So just feeling really confident and, and then trying to execute. Once you get the first one, does the second one look like a beach ball coming at you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's easy to see. Just see. Yeah. Um, you're talking about the offense, Coach. What, what are your concerns? You're 11 games in. You're struggling this late in the year there. What, how big a concern is it? Well, you know, I think it, the concern is, and I, without just really watching the film and studying it, it seems to me that they really stacked the, the box and we couldn't run, but we kept trying and we just uh, should have just thrown it a little more. Um, evened it out. And, uh, and I, you know, anytime you uh, make mistakes, there's a reason. And a lot of times, um, the play call, uh, the quarterback, what he read, but uh, by and large, I think that the practice this week's been uh, uh, good. Uh, I felt like we were prepared, and uh, we just didn't execute like we want to. Yes, even they did, you know, sometimes they bring three guys, the next play they bring six, they go back to bringing three, they're constantly changing things up. How tough was that thing for you guys up front? Oh, you know, it was tough. There were some miscommunications that can't happen. But at the end of the day, you know, it's playoffs. You know, every team we see from now on is, is the real deal. And they want to win just as bad as we do. So, you know, we have to be able to make those adjustments and be able to, you know, limit mistakes. Is it, fr is it frustrating for y'all as an offense? Definitely. You're not peaking right now and you want to be? I mean, definitely, uh, you know, we want to really be explosive. And, uh, you know, we're, we're right there. We're, we're close. We just keep on seem to having breakdowns in certain aspects of it on plays. And, you know, once we really uh, get in film tomorrow and start cleaning some stuff up and, you know, just come out and run as a whole well-oiled machine, we're going to be good. Coach, you talked about, you know, um, not meeting your expectations. Just what's the biggest message mm -hmm. to your team uh, offensively and maybe defensively after this game? You know, we've talked about rising to the occasion in, in the playoff atmosphere, and um, there, there's a lot of things, the familiarity with the Redlands, and, um, I, and I don't know that we were just quite as crisp as you'd like to be, but I, as Stephen said, I thought very well. We understand now the significance, and this is going to be a great learning uh, film for us and a game for us. Because we, we have to raise our level of play every week. We can't be satisfied with the way we played last week. I mean, we don't have tomorrow. I mean, we, we got to play well. And, you know, and I'm, my wife says, well, can't you enjoy this win? And I said, well, I'm going to enjoy this win for uh, a while. But Sunday, we'll get a lot better. You know, we're definitely the better team when it came to special teams. I think I know the answer to this. But at this point in the year, how much are you still practicing? Special teams. Uh, every day. I mean, it's so important. It's just so important to us. And I tell you what Redlands did is they, they really had a lot of uh, plays that they, last year, or in 16, they ran a, a fake punt on us. And nothing is more frustrating than, you know, when somebody runs a fake punt. So we, uh, Jack Johnson did a great job of preparing our special teams uh, with that. I think that all of our guys that we've got in place now, for guys that can really uh, be successful in the special teams. I'm talking about the kickers, the catchers, all of the people that are playing. And so it will continue to be a big part of our game plan. Keith, the offense didn't do what they wanted to do. They're obviously a little frustrated by that. But the defense did step up, make a bunch of plays. You made a couple. Obviously, there's fumble recoveries and all that. How much pride did your defense in that unit take, knowing that, hey, you know what, we can, we can, we can, we can carry the load here, Coach? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, we don't expect to do that, but we'd love to just do what we can for the offense and put them in the best position. So, 
I mean, we, we really take pride in that. You get Huntington next? Yes. You played them once? Yes. Um, do you recall much about them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I do. I, and here, here's what I remember about them. They came in here with such an energy level. They were doing calisthenics the whole day on the sideline. If the team was on the field, they were jumping around and hollering, and, I, it, and it parlayed into a great effort. I remember them jumping, they're running back to, from one side to the, the other. Uh, they did a great job attacking our defense. And, um, you know, and, and again, uh, they came in here that year uh, with a chance to win the ball game. They really gave a tremendous effort, and I'm sure that they'll do the same thing. You know, I, I mean, you know, the reality is that anybody that comes, I mean, we're the, the national champions from last year. Um, I mean, if guys get a chance, I told the guys today the story of us going into Mount Union in 04. I mean, they hadn't lost in that, on that field in years. And you just get a little glimmer of hope and, um, and catch a team just right. And we, we, we can't let that happen. He knows all about these other teams in the bracket because he's been doing this a while. To y'all, is it just another name? And does it does it matter to y'all who who you play next? Do you know? um, it doesn't. Doesn't. I mean, there's definitely some teams that we kind of have a history with, and so maybe they might mean a little more. But at the end of the day, we have one end goal. We've had it all season. We've worked super, super hard for it, and that's you know to be playing December twentieth and to win that thing. So, you know, the way I look at it and um, some of the offensive linemen do is they're just another person in our way for from attaining our goal. So, you know, we're gonna get better tomorrow and, you know, have another great week of practice, be prepared. Keith, can you talk about the energy um, in the game? I mean, after that pick six, obviously, I mean, you guys were, you know, already outplaying, um, you know, um, the Redlands, but it kind of seemed like, I mean, it, it was a, just a huge momentum shift for kind of like, you know, putting the ice on it. Um, just kind of talk about just, you know, the impact of that pick uh, six. I mean, we just try to make a statement. We we don't want to let up on, on nobody, anybody we play. I mean, we're just we're gonna put the, the, our foot on the pedal and we're just gonna go. We don't, we're not gonna let up. We don't want nobody catching up, sneaking up on us. We just want to prove to, uh, to everybody that you know we are the best team in the nation. So, yeah. I'm good. All right, thanks, coach. Thanks, 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 thanks,